Yo guys, it's Tabdire, and today marks four years since I started my VTC, Quantum. So, in today's video, I thought I would give a brief history lesson on how the company started and what path we took to get where we are now. Funnily enough, we have to roll the clocks back a little further than 2017, but to 2015. I started to play lots of Garry's mod, and as this channel shows at the time, uh, and I know what you're thinking, this isn't anything to do with the VTC, but trust me, it'll make more sense when we get to there. Um, so I started playing on a server called Psycho's Funbox, and it was here that I met some of the future staff team of Quantum. But moving on to 2016, the server sadly closed, We, move on, we and then we moved on to a new server. This server was called GTRS, or Grand Tours Racing Server. And this server is where we met even more of the future members of the Quantum staff team. On this server, I made a company to roleplay with, and the name was Tap Inc. And with the help of the people I met on these games, uh, we started to build up a name for ourselves. This started in late 2016, but I always had the ambition to start a VTC for ETS2 and ATS. I had dabbled with the idea in the summer of... Uh, 2016, but nothing came of it. But on the 14th of February 2017, that all changed. The VTC was born, it too was called Tap Inc, and the first of its members who joined were all from the Gary's mod server we played on. We started off not requiring our drivers to use a specific paint job, but this was a radical idea at the time as no other VTC offered this luxury to its drivers. We continued on, and in May 2017, with the launch of the heavy haulage equipment and the 8x4 chassis uh, available for trucks, we launched a brand new division called Martrian Heavy Haulage. This used a stunning light blue and white combination, and also f it featured in a Darwin video for the Calais Jump, making it one of our most famous paints at the time. Then, on the 12th of July 2017, we unveiled our next division, McBurney's Transport. With the launch of McBurney's, we, s we stopped the no specific paint job rule and continued on this new path with this amazing yellow and blue combination. This paint is still a favourite among drivers who are with Quantum today, and I have to agree with them. It was an amazing paint job and was one of the longest serving paint jobs in the company's history. Then, in August of 2017, we launched two more divisions, Wilson McCurdy Transport. They handled explosives, fuel, animal transportation, and that sort of stuff. Uh, and Woodside Transport, they handled all the sort of vehicle transportation. McCurdy's used a red and gold livery which had a mixed reaction with drivers, whilst Woodside's used a dark green and white livery and this was a much more popular choice for drivers. With these four divisions, we then decided that we were going to change our overall company name to reflect our changes. With this, we settled on Enterprise Logistics Group. This name was first used in November 2017, and with this, the Northern Irish era of VLG was born. The Northern Irish era seen us change our logging software to Truxbook from Virtual Trucking Manager. It also seen the introduction of ownable trailers to ETS2 and ATS, and also one of our drivers, Dan the Man, coming third in the inaugural TMP Racing Championship. But in late 2018, everything changed. ELG went under a major rebranding. We stopped using the four different paint jobs and, and colours uh, were homologated and everything to the same colour scheme. We updated our logo, our website, our Discord, everything. November 2018, one year after we started being called ELG, we entered a new era. This was the Formula 1 era. Our brand new paint job was an amazing silver and blue combination, and our logo suspiciously looks like the Formula 1 logo, hence the name of the era. During this era, we acquired our first ever award at the November Chimps event for Best Parking, which was very successful. We also attended lots of convoys for the first time ever. I acquired the limited edition truck that I still own to this day, the Ilsa edition, and this is when we really put ELG onto the map. However, the paint job was not very good on certain trucks. So for our two-year anniversary in February 2019, we decided to change our paints 
once more. And now we entered the Red Bull Formula 1 era, also known as the Formula 1 era 2.0. This era used a minimalistic paint scheme that was still striking to look at, with the dark blue and the red stripe. With this new paint job, ELG turned a new leaf, We started to become the company that you know today. This was our most successful era to date at the time, and we were always commended about how our paint looked when we attended events, but sadly we didn't win any awards. We also switched over to VT Log to log our jobs at this stage, which we have continued to use until now. In May of 2019, our COO, the Dutch 16 at the time, started to talk to the CEO of Blitz, Cody, about a possible merge of our two companies. We agreed that we will come up with a new name, but what to call it? So we sent off our crack marketing team in their VW minibus for a team building exercise. And they first came up with Causeway Logistics. This, however, didn't sound right. So they continued and came up with Liberty Haulage. But this also didn't sound great either. So they ventured further and came up with High Sierra Transport. The management weren't sold on this either, but the marketing team assured us that this name was fully baked. But finally, they came up with the name, and it was Quantum Haulage. So on the 12th of July, 2019, Two years after the launch of McBurney's Transport, we launched Quantum to the public. As the year progressed, we stayed fairly steady, launching the gaming group in November 2019, featuring Forza Horizon 4. And as 2020 rolled around, we had about 20 drivers at the start of the year. The first few months, not much happened, as my PC was broken and not many jobs were done. And our three year anniversary convoy was actually hosted on Forza Horizon 4. And as March rolled round, my PC was fixed and we were back in the business. But as we all know, worldwide lockdown started at the end of March, and with this, we launched a new convoy, the PETA convoy. This lasted one week. And we went on to seven games, Forza Horizon 1, 2, 3 and 4, Grand Theft Auto Online, or Grand Theft Auto 5 as you may know it, ATS and ETS 2. This was a follow-on convoy to the mega convoy that we had done in January 2017, before the VTC actually existed. But with many iterations later, because we were going to do it many more times, but they never actually happened. We made it to the point where we used the prefix PETA. This convoy was actually quite a huge success for the company. Over the year, our job count has increased dramatically, with every quarter being the last. In late 2020, we brought back our monthly convoys, and these have been very successful, and we have had more attendees than we could ever imagine. At the end of 2020, we had doubled our member count from about 20 to 45 members. And with our Q4 figures eclipsing the rest of the year by having 58% of the share of the 3,148 jobs that were completed in 2020. 2021 has only just started at the time of me writing this, but we have already amassed another three drivers, uh, thanks to us finally getting validated at the end of 2020, thanks to our new website being published. In November 2020, the Quantum Paint became our longest serving paint in the company's history, but we still have another one to two months until the Quantum name has been the longest serving name in the company's history. We hope that 2021 will be our best year yet, eclipsing the amazing success that we had in 2020. Thank you very much for watching this video. It may have dragged on a bit, but I wanted to include as much information as I possibly could. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Comment below any other video ideas you'd like to see me to maybe try. uh, And also subscribe so you never miss a video. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.